Namaste. I'm Jill Loftus of New It Astrology. Welcome to your planetary energy forecast for the week of June 27th, 2022. <laughs> Don't mind as my cat knocks into the tripod. All right, we're going to move forward. <laughs> we're going to start the week on the 27th. We have um, Mars coming together with Eris. All right. And so um, Eris is the energy of um, uh, kind of discord, of discontent, of um, uh, kind of a difficult energy. So watch that as the week begins because it's going to build into a more complex energy with Mars. But just keep that in mind for the beginning of the week. Um, if you find yourself a little more discontent, a little feeling a little more grr, um, make sure you it, just employ the high vibrational Aries qualities, right? Now, this Mars is also going to be activated in a sextile to Saturn over there in Aquarius. And so um, there's a bit of luck here. Um, something that you take action that you really want to concretize, you want to bring into the reality of the Aquarian area of your chart. So watch for that bit of luck. Sextiles require that you do something. The magic just doesn't happen, okay? It's opportunity. So pay attention to that. And we've got the moon coming together with Mercury. All right, so moon touching Mercury. So lots of ideas, a merging of head and heart. Um, this is in the sign of Gemini. So keep that in mind as well. This moon is also going to trine Saturn. So we've got some nice Saturn aspects. And then the moon is also going to sextile Mars. Um, it will square the Neptune. But I'm really liking Monday, even with this Mars Eris situation. Um, I think this is a day where you can really make a lot of progress um, and kind of uh, move forward, uh, especially with things in the Aquarius area of your chart. Now, on Tuesday the 28th, we have a new moon. Um, it's at 10.52 p.m. It's at seven degrees of the sign of Cancer. Um, so this Cancerian new moon, uh, I really, um, it's got a little bit of blessing and a little bit of difficulty. It's coming with Neptune stationing. So overnight, the night before, um, Neptune is going to retrograde at 25 degrees in the sign of Pisces. So pay attention to that, particularly um, if you're a Pisces. This Neptune station uh, date is a really good, important date to pay attention to, um, just to kind of see what the overarching themes are of what you're going to have to maybe re-examine, redo, or rethink in that area of your life over these next few months. Remember, Neptune moves really slowly, so um, it's going to retrace its steps over these next few months. Um, just pay attention to the symbolic events of the station point. Now, this back to this new moon. Um, we've got this new moon. It squares Jupiter. Um, at the same time, um, the sun is also squaring Jupiter, right? So the, the, the moon and the sun are together. That's what makes the new moon, but they both are in a square to Jupiter. Now, I'm not seeing this as um, particularly difficult. I see this as a kind of a turning point kind of new moon. Definitely um, a, a time uh, for getting real about what needs to change in the cancer area of your life. So look for that. Um, excesses of any kind will not be tolerated because of that square to the Jupiter, right? Um, so false op optimism, no, no. Uh, it's a kind of a reality check. Now I want you to also pay attention to that Venus has a nice little sextile over to that Jupiter. So it lends a little bit of blessing, a little bit of softening of that square. Um, so just take note of that. Uh, if you're working really in alignment with your value system, I feel like this is a beneficial new moon. All right, um, Wednesday, we have a sextile from the moon, which is in Cancer. Um, over to uh, Uranus. So Wednesday, have your synchronicity goggles on because the possibility for something just kind of magically happening or coming forward, um, sudden shocking beneficial events, absolutely positive. Now, we are by then, by Wednesday the 29th, we are in that flow where we're going to have the moon in Cancer across the sky from Pluto in Capricorn, and they are both going to square over to the Mars and Aries. Um, I don't like this energy. Uh, this is uh, difficult energy. Um, luckily, the moon amplification of that will end. Um, but as we get into um, the 30th, the 1st, the 2nd, moving into the rest of the weekend, we've got that Mars square, the Pluto. So pay attention to what's going on in the Aries part of your chart. There's going to be some grr, right? Look at the Capricorn part of your chart. What have you been trying to renovate? What has been breaking down and being restructured for years now, right? But this is a push to completion, right? Pluto is nearing the end of its trip through Capricorn. And so this difficult energy with the Mars, um, be aware of violence, be aware of um, accidents, fire, anything uh, with sharp objects, 
drive more carefully. If you're going out to public events, be aware of your circumstances and your surroundings, right? Um, Mars and Aries can definitely be the warrior going rogue um, and lashing out against Capricorn, the authority figures, the uh, structures of things, all right? I would also pay attention to weather events during this entire time period. Um, it's just a, a little bit of a difficult, well, it's, it's just, it's very difficult energy. And so caution flags up, white light shields up from Wednesday on through to the middle of next week. All right, so just be cautious and careful. Now, in addition to that um, uh, energy, on Saturday, we have Mercury in a gorgeous flow with Saturn, okay? But it's also square the Neptune. Now, the moon is also squaring Neptune here too. So um, really watch your mind, watch uh, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Make sure that you are not making any rash decisions, even rash statements. When you have a flow with Mercury with Saturn like that, it's like your words have glue. So it's an excellent weekend to be working with a mantra, thinking of it as being a mind protection, right? Have something on repeat in your mind that's beneficial, positive, and protective, all right? Keep in mind also that Moon in Leo is gonna square Uranus and oppose Saturn. That's just a lot of energy, right? On top of the Mars-Pluto. It's just a lot of energy, all right? Slow down. Sunday, we have some nice flows of energy. I'm kind of digging Sunday. Um, a little better uh, flow with the moon. Um, it, it, the moon is going to um, send a beautiful beam of energy to Mercury, and it's also uh, going to send a nice flow over to Mars. So um, this off offers a little bit of instinctive positivity as far as how to handle anything that might be coming up. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I still, I, I really, I want you to be super careful through that weekend, all right, and into the following week, all right? Be wise, all right? Be really wise and then see symbolically what's occurring and so you can react in a positive, beneficial manner for yourself. All right, well, I hope this was useful, helpful. Um, if it was, please like it. Uh, please comment below. That always helps the channel to grow. And I'll see you uh, next week for the next Planetary Energy Forecast. Um, and I do have my July forecast up, so be sure to check that out. That gives you a little bit more information about this, um, the way we're entering this month and um, uh, the variety of changes that are coming up um, pretty rapidly. All right. Shanti. Namaste, my friends. Bye.